Let's get going then. Can you explain what you're doing? So as you've seen, as soon as we got out of the car, we have an invitation to speak to this woman who is simply trying to exercise her legal right to stand for election. And straight away, these plain-clothed plain -clothed policemen, we can only assume is what they are, have blocked our way into her house. I was going to try and knock on. I just try and knock on the door. Well, hey, sir. Thank you. Hey, how? Ah, Miss Leo. Hello. So we're hoping we can uh, come in and talk to you. Thank you. Excuse me, uh, I think we have permission to, to go in and uh, speak to this lady. Who, 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 are, who are these people? Why so China has made huge capital out of what it sees as the farce and the circus of the US election, the huge effort and expense that goes into an artificial choice. But what we can see here quite clearly is the huge effort and expense that China puts in to stopping people exercising their democratic rights. As you can see, there's absolutely no way through. Probably 20, 25 men outside this house. There's absolutely no way to get to it. Sorry, 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 sorry. So this is democracy, Chinese style. A large group of thugs pushing us away and we've no choice but to leave. The woman inside hoping to stand for election won't be able to do this interview. You're gonna break my coat. Let go. Let go.